<sighs> What's up, YTPC? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the time that you've decided to click and watch this video. I'm JBN951, and I'm feeling a little spontaneous today. I was looking at this box of matches, and uh, why don't we go on a little field trip? Racing and Laramie Tobacconist History. According to Racine and Laramie, in 1868, Racine and Laramie became San Diego's first cigar store. Having come from Eastern Canada in the prosperity following the war between the states, Messrs. Racine and Laramie sold cigars, tobacco, stationery, pipes, cutlery, and gentlemen's furnishings. Man, that sounds like a cool place to go and visit. Okie dokie, let's make sure that we've got everything we need. Flat cap, check. Tobacco pipe pouch, check. Make sure there's a pipe in there. Feels like there's one in there. Tobacco pouch with some tobacco in it, check. Looks like we're ready to go. Let's go. Hey guys, Road Sticks did a quick story on the place that we're gonna go visit. So on our drive up there, why don't we take a quick listen? And if you're interested in hearing the whole story, it is Road Sticks and it's season one, episode three. In 1868, Alexi Racine and Charles Laramie arrived here from Quebec, opened up a tobacco store that sold tobaccos, souvenirs, and other gentleman goods. That building was damaged in the 1872 fire that damaged about a third of Old Town. The building was reconstructed 46 years ago, and we've been a tobacco store for the last 46 years. We get a huge, diverse crowd of folks from Europe, Asia, all over the world. We're multi-generational. My father started this as a hobby business in a 12 by 13 spot about 100 yards away from here. Literally hundreds of thousands of people come through this location every single year. And it's kind of our responsibility to educate them, and not only in you know local history, but tobacco history. We are a full-service tobacconist. We have nasal snuff, pipe tobacco, cigarette tobacco, 300 plus different cigars, accessories, and a few other things non-tobacco related. As a draw to the business, we costume so that people can enjoy the ambiance and, and enjoy the atmosphere of 1868. It has been stocked with antiques from around the world and around the time frame. Many of the display cases are from the 1850s, 1860s, 1870s. When you see the store, you're just like, wow. You know, I might be a little biased, I might be a little proud, but it, it's pretty cool. Really a mom and pop shop. My sisters still come in when they're in town and help out on the weekends. In fact, my mom just walked in. <laughs> Hi, mama. Getting that first experience and figuring out what, you know, cigars were about, you know, I just had this immediate connection. We really try to focus on premium tobacco. Welcome to our humidor. So, just to give you an idea of some of the cigars we stock, currently we have a big program of La Aurora, Tatuaje Illusion, Romacraft, Regius, My Father, Cusada, Padron Esteban Carreras, Caldwell, and Oliva. And if you're a discerning smoker, we have an extended vintage collection. La Flor de Monacana El Museo's Partigas 160th Anniversaries, original release 2012 Cajonu Broadleafs, and many more. Smoking a lot of cigars. We love what we sell. Yeah, so that was a cool little episode from Road Sticks. Season 1, Episode 3. If you guys want to go check them out, just uh, they're here on Google. So we're here, you guys. Let's uh, go inside and uh, check this place out. You guys ready? Let's go.